All right, Nessa, what are we going to do about these pirates? I'm glad you're here, but I'm afraid I have bad news. <clears throat> these pirates have been cursed <clears throat> and lost, <clears throat> just like so many others in Windswood. That means there won't be any chance of negotiating with them. And we'll get no information out of them unless they left handy journal notes everywhere, which I'll bet they did. Well, just know this. Captain Corapati was particularly nasty before. She's likely worse now. She also has a pet alligator. Yeah, pirates I like alligators, to apparently. A meal before leaving town. I think you're going to need it. Yeah, I got plenty of food. Patience will win the day. I'd recommend taking out the alligator first. Oh, a strategic thought. I'm no warrior, but if you use the catwalks, it could help you to keep the pirates from surrounding you. Your choice, though. Huh. Okay. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the advice. What's this guy want? I won't just watch Winswood go to hell. The Swarmancers, the Withered, the Pirates. It's a damn mess. And we have to start somewhere. <laughs> Heard Francis was working with the Pirates. Well, I know how to stop that. Do tell. You know how the Swarmancers destroyed the farm? Ruined the windmills? Made it hard to get anything done? Well, I plan on returning the favor to the pirates. But they're all lost, so it doesn't matter, right? Already thought of that. We start by destroying the cannons. Those stockpiled powder cakes are just asking for a stray spark. And there's a big mean bruiser who leads their raids. Bloody his nose. And they'll have a hard time retaliating. All right, good luck with all that, Michael. Oh, wait, you wanted me to do that. <clears throat> of course. Everyone has ideas around here, but they've got no gumption, I tell you. You wouldn't think you'd find so many cowards in a place where you just respawn if you die. Missed with my sticky bomb and my trap, didn't I? Shouldn't I be able to shoot those? I feel like I should just be able to shoot the damn things. <laughs> what you laughing for, motherfucker? I'm about to ruin your day, boy. Think you got this? I'm out of town. There you go. Woof. He was kind of beefy. Thought I might have to use a potion. <clears throat> of course, I decided to just go toe to toe with him and not even use the block button or evade, so whatever. We won. It was a slobber knocker. <laughs> They're arguing politics in chat now. 
It's like, keep your politics out of the game. Nobody gives a shit. Go ahead. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to be careful about how I take on these enemies, but I don't think I do right now. I out-level them. I'm 21. So why you gotta tell the whole world you're dumb? Because dummies always do. I should get a keyboard to set up for my PlayStation so I can chat with these fine individuals about FUTA and politics and all that jazz. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Somebody just said this game's background is politics. I thought this game's background was an island where everyone's cursed and cannot leave and cannot die. Or rather, when they die, they come back. There I go thinking again. I guess we could argue that these towns, settlements have political structure, but it's not real life politics. They're literally injecting real life American politics of that into the video game. Did someone say something about Trump? God damn it. No, they didn't, but now they will. Damn, you shot me from all the way over there? If I was actually bothered by the chat, I'd just turn it off, but they actually amuse me. And it gives me another way to keep up commentary in the video. As I'm sure watching me hunt and gather and kill pirates is probably getting boring for anybody who's watching. I don't know, though. I watch people stream this game when I'm not playing it. As well as other games I'm interested in. I love using the musket, the aesthetic, the sounds, it's all amazing. But the hatchet, it's just so practical and easy. And leave it to me to pick two weapons that would be multi-attribute dependent instead of just going with two dex base or two strength base. Uh, at least the hatchet gets 65% scaling for dexterity.
I've also been putting points in the Constitution so I can take those hits to the face and be lazy. Is that a supply crate? <coughs> I'm going to have to do a big crafting video. I've got tons of mats saved up. Just have a big crafting session. Stop blocking. There's a journal entry down there. There's the crystal. Oh, he's skinning the... There's the crystal we need. Eliminate the alligator. Eliminate the captain. I must have to do that before I can collect the crystal. I saw a journal page down here. I'll just go get that while I wait. And we will skim that. It's talking about the captain. Again, just pause the video if you'd like to read it for yourself. Saltpeter used to be important when you had to make ammo. But they don't have the ammo anymore, I noticed. Alright, the alligator's taken care of. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get it. Everything in order. Defeat first mate Shamgar. I wanted to say Sugar. Yep, first mate Sugar. That's his name. Unless it's a her. Maybe it's a her. What is that? Ball peen hammer. They must be flag PvP and they're red. I won't fall for your shenanigans. <clears throat> Bunch of boys brought me a right interesting one today. Some missus just joined the camp. Tried to rough her up a bit and found out what she'd fetch, but she cut two of them down without batting an eye, and then she asked for me by name. That's the first entry about the captain, I think. Or, no, it's not about grace. No. Why does every server turn into political talk? Play the damn game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, I mean, you know what? Let them talk. It's entertainment. Don't get, up so, don't, don't get so upset about it. There's the first mate. Come here, sugar. I need to hit you with a time bomb here. Sticky bomb. <laughs> Still standing? Let's remedy that, shall we? 
All right, that's both objectives completed. Let's do something you couldn't do three years ago. Look at that. It's swimming. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Three years ago, you could not swim in this game. Yay, 50 tracking and skinning. First things first. Now well, let's talk to this guy first. Oh. <laughs> Be with you in a minute. <coughs> Could see those explosions from here. With any luck, that will bring drink us a water. Piece from the pirates. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Splendid. You clearly weren't eaten by the alligator. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have any rips on your clothes. No. More importantly. You've recovered the third verdant gemstone. I got a chess piece this called the, the Big one. Burlap We're Sack. We're finally close to restoring <laughs> the land's protections. Hell no. You'll need to take the gemstone to the shrine at the ruins known as Sirius. For you, I'm Why starting so to serious? think this will be easy. Agreed. While you head to Sirius, I'll visit town and make sure preparations are underway to resume the tribute. Oh good. Just think. We'll soon be able to tell all the people. Yeah, the just think. We'll soon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon appease the evil sorceress again. I wonder, should I switch to that? Um, this is a spear. I wonder if I should switch to the spear or the rapier and just go all decks instead of splitting points into my uh, strength and dexterity that's probably a better plan um let's see how the spear works does it scale off just, uh, does it scale off dexterity? Yeah, 90%. I should probably do that. And then I should, like, dump these points. Respec and dump those points all into decks. We'll see. Let's uh, we'll give it a whirl and see if. I oh wow, that is neat. What is that effect on there? Convert fifty percent of damage dealt to arcane. Huh. Okay. We'll check this thing out. How far is our next objective? Warp and weft. Collect loom patterns and fabric samples from Sirius and Stoneview Seabreak. Well, that's where I'm going, so... Should definitely do that. I didn't mean to hit the tree, but okay. I wanted this. I've seen people talking in chat about some sort of event. Nuts! Oh boy! Yay! Um, <laughs> sorry. I get excited for cooking mats. Anyway, I've seen people talking in chat about some sort of event that uh, is giving a bonus to gathering right now. 
They say gather all you can while you can, and I've certainly been doing that. I know you're aware of our supply shortages here in Winswell. I've even heard you help restock our food and wood stores, and for that you have my profound thanks. But uh, we are running dangerously low on clothing. Craft some more. Oh, let me tell you, crafting takes time, and my message would be a bit faster. <laughs> I propose we go in and steal the pants off those ancient guardians, eh? Well, what? Perhaps not exactly pants, uh, as they don't seem to wear pants, uh, but uh, you get the idea. No. Hmm. Since you asked, uh, any loom patterns you find will help immensely. I'll be able to get our production up and running with the new patterns without having to come up with the designs myself. And that will save so much time. And people will be happier, too, assuming you designed your own clothes. Good God. Wait, it says go to the bottom of this cup. Oh shit, there's a bunch of blueberries. I almost walked right by those. So it says go to the bottom of this cup instead. I thought when I read it, it said. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do it. I think I kind of want a house in Windsward, so I need to get my rep up here. See what the spear is all about. Of course, I have no skills right now. Need, need to get some. Reinforced Ori Calcum, something or other. <laughs> All the other enemies are dead. Oh, let's look at that point in the spear. We want something here. What do we got? Skewer? Perforate. Execute three quick piercing strikes. Sweep the target's legs. Javelin, throw your spear. Cyclone. Oh, okay. I'm sold. <laughs> I think I want spear throw too. I just, I don't know. I get a kick out of throwing my weapons. It's one of the things I like about the hatchet. Dun, 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 dun. Watch mobs don't respawn, or are these guys just laying about? They're just laying about. Well, that's a nice AoE. I think I may actually enjoy Spear. What else can I get? I want to do Javelin. Acquires an unlocked ability in a previous tree. Okay, I need to do some more. 10% increased base damage on consecutive heavy attacks. Uh, your next dodge consumes 20 plus. Critical chances increased by 10% when attacking targets that are at least 3 meters away. Restore 25 stamina per target hit. We'll do that one. Why not? Oh, I can't get that again.
There we go. I'll open with that. Wait, did I not? What happened? Javelin. A sign. There we go. We'll open with a throw. Yeah. That yeah, didn't do much damage. Now we go to the shrine of serious spear hunting. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Can make that better with the one that does more damage to enemies at least three meters away, I think it said. Bad kitty. It's so annoying when you show up late to an ore location. Not in PvP area. <laughs> Fork PX. He likes his spear. Bastard. Oh, I'm in danger. Holy shit. Fork. X. But how do you put the P in the middle? All right, I guess I already did it. Uh, okay. Good enough. Okay. Back to town then. Call to the end.
big base. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, you know what? It was fine. of the famine. The protections on Vinsford have been restored. Things will get better. That is no natural storm. Medea's here. Everyone, stay calm. People of Orin, hear me. Not only have you failed to pay tribute, but now I find the Druids fallen as well. The suffering you've inflicted on the land demands you suffer in return. Your tribute now will be in blood. Do not make me wait. Uh-oh, I think we're too late. Well, so much for my theory that Medea would be understanding. But of course, keep in mind, she doesn't have all the facts. I'd say, perhaps, if we explained the situation, but she doesn't seem like she's open to diplomacy at this point, does she? No, I don't think so. Well, we have to at least try, <clears throat> don't we? Or perhaps, as the last druid, I should be volunteering as tribute. Can't say I'm too excited about that. I'll You're go talk to her. To do battle with her really. No, no, we'll just talk. Medea's been on a turnum for millennia. She's... Insanely powerful. If you could just get her to hear us out, however, I feel certain she'd be open to some effort at amends on our part. Don't you think? Absolutely. Very well. She mentioned seeing the fallen druids, so she must have occupied Thornhall, our warren to the west. Go there, and I will soon follow. Okay, we'll do that. Uh. Where is this Lionel? 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 Where are you, Lionel? Lionel. There you are. Oh, my thanks. How utterly divine. Look at this cloth. It has withstood the centuries and yet looks freshly made. Oh, if. Only I knew the secrets of those ancient dyes. Such vibrant colors. They're even more impressive, of course. Uh, I suppose you need some dyes now. Oh, you are a dear. Am I? But not yet. Okay, good. First, I need to get these to the people of Corinth. Once the settlement is reclothed, then perhaps I'll have time to pursue my studies in uh, ancient dyes. Perhaps. Level 22. Okay. Well, that'll be the end of this episode, I believe, and we will go uh, confront Medea in the Fallen Druin Grove at Thornhall. wonder where that is, though. Where is that? Is that still in Windsward? Yes, it is. Cool, because I don't want to leave Windsward yet. Quite like it here. All right, well, I will see you there.